Hello, welcome to the channel. Today I will be <coughs> today I will be giving you an advanced engine tutorial for a boat. So this is our engine we're going to be using today. It's the smallest one. You can always use one of the other mm, one of the other three engines. There's jet engines, medium engines, large engines. More on that later. Anyways. So, for a boat, what you need, hold on, let me just clear inventory. I know you know how you, inventory works already, so I'm not going to worry about that. <coughs> so, what you need is a heat, type heat, you need a heat sink, fluid heat sink <coughs> for the boat, but for these purposes I'm going to use a radiator. Don't yell at me. I'm not I'm not building a boat, so it won't work. So here I'll just put the I have an idea. Don't don't pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm I'm doing something smart. Don't yell at me. Okay, heat, so you do your heat sink as you do, turn it around, make sure the pipes are facing up, you know what I mean? So you'll need a heat sink, and then you're going to need some pipes, I'd suggest straight pipe, elbow pipe, and T-piece. T-piece won't really be necessary, but if you're making multiple engines, you need the T-piece to connect stuff together. I really hope this tutorial will be helpful. Anyways, you hook these things, you hook this to the <gasps> coolant in and coolant out. Uh, in and out don't doesn't really matter unless you have pumps. Pumps aren't really necessary if you have these, so they kind of do the work for you. Anyways, you got that. Alright, so if you weren't already in windowed mode, you if you were in windowed mode, I'd turn that off. So you're going to look for your exhaust. Your exhaust is, you just have to read for it when you move around. So your exhaust is basically going to be doing this. It doesn't matter if it's underwater or not, because frick physics. So, yeah. Then you need your fluid. Then your... Now you'll need a tank. I'd suggest the medium one for this engine. If you wanted to go large, that'd be kind of long distance. Okay, so you hook your tank to the fuel. And you go on to your arrow mode up here. You click on the tank. Make sure that's on decent and make the fill level 100% if it's not already. Then you're going to want to connect these. By the way, the rotation keys, if you're not an idiot, are J, K, and L. I probably, you probably already know that at either way. Then that was your air. This one piece is your air. This pipe is air. You just kind of put that somewhere. Make sure it's not covered by... Make sure there's nothing above it. Like, this won't work for some reason. That's just how they made the game. To fix bugs, I guess. So make sure there's nothing covering that air supply. Right, I need to put a fluid spawner in here. Fluid... That's fluid meter. Spawner. Make sure that's... Well, I guess you don't have to do this yourself, but... Okay, seawater. Um, okay. So, we'll get on that later. Anyways. So what you're gonna wanna do... Is you're gonna wanna point this backwards. Whichever way your propellers you want them to be. 
need a clutch. This clutch, to be specific. So, yeah. And then... Fuck. Hold on. Then you need to grab a gear. I said a gear. I guess that's a gearbox now. Anyways, you're going to want to let that blue arrow face towards the engine for the best performance. You're going to want to set this to backwards and this one to 3.31 three depending on what your boat is. 3.1 is the best for a large boat, 2.1 is the best for a medium boat, and 1.1 one one is the best for a small boat. And then propeller. Uh, this is the best propeller to go with this engine. I wouldn't try any other one, otherwise you're going to waste some fuel. So, you should have all these components. should look somewhat like this. If you're not a psychopath. Okay. Anyways, what else you're going to want? You're actually going to want to turn this into a T-piece. You'll see why in a second. Then you're going to want to grab a generator. A small one, to be specific. Okay, so that's the main engine. Now for the logic. So you're going to want a battery. Small battery is best with this engine. I'd suggest a small battery. Um, then a throttle lever. You'll need two of these. You can hook them to one, but for this... For the purpose of this video, I'm going to do two. I'm also going to make a stair step to get up here, because, yeah. And then you're also going to want a toggle button. Make sure it's toggle. And a push button. Now, I would suggest naming your buttons so you know what you're doing. So this will be reverse... And this will be start. And this will be clutch. And this will be throttle. Okay. So, now, for logic. Logic is quite easy if you're new to the game. I'm terrible at it, but still, I can do it. So, your throttle will go to your throttle. Your clutch will go to your clutch. Your reverse will go to the gearbox, and your start will go to the starter. Okay, that should be... Oh, wait, no. You need to go to your electricity, take your battery, connect it to your generator. Then you're going to want to connect it to the rest. Everything that has that yellow plus needs powered. And you can tell by the lines that it's powered. So whenever you hover over this, everything that's powered by that will be turned white. You're going to want everything on your engine to be white. And these levers. So yeah. Okay, that should conclude your uh, tutorial. Hold on. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so first of all, go for here. Turn your throttle all the way up. Wait, no. Turn it down to like 30 or 20, I'm, I'm not, I'm not really caring. That should mean it's working. Now clutch it up. Now you're able to throttle up. And you can see now that my head is being cut open. Alright, now, for the reverse. You turn it all the way down. You hit reverse, you do the same thing. Shit, I did that wrong. Okay, that takes a little bit of power, but it does the job. Anyways, it is now in reverse. That concludes our tutorial. If you enjoyed the tutorial and wish for more tutorials for the other engines, please subscribe. And I will see you next time.